Hello guys, welcome to Knowledge Pond YouTube channel. In this video, I would like to share daily useful English expressions and uh, phrases uh, which are very common across any business world. Uh, mainly I have seen uh, situations like um, uh, when we communicating with our boss, our colleagues and uh, meetings like uh, business meetings and uh, conference calls. Uh, these phrases are very much useful. If you are familiar with these phrases, so the communication would be very easy. And so I have listed out uh, topmost business phrases and expressions. Uh, okay, uh, let us go through one by one with the uh, right meaning and situation or context. Uh, these expressions or phrase is used. Let's get started. So the phrase would be like um, a win-win situation. I'm starting with a um, very positive phrase. The meaning would be uh, this phrase is used to express the guaranteeing of a favorable outcome for everyone involved. The example would be, hey, uh, we are happy for this project contract. Uh, which come to our company at the same time users are also very happy so that um, the because of we delivered project on time successfully and uh, with their uh, limited budget so it looks like uh, it is a win-win situation the clients are happy even we also our company guys also full happy the next situation like the next phrase would be a no win situation the meaning would be this phrase is used to express the situation that has only bad results the example would be hey now we have many issues in current state of the project and um, running short of time looks it is no win situations we need to work very hard to release the project on time The next phrase would be uh, so far so good this phrase is used to express everything is fine right now but uh, there may be a problems on later stages the example would be we have released the first phase of the project successfully and uh, just now i have received a positive feedback from the user so looks like so far so good we are in the fine state right now and uh, thank you so much for uh, all your effort so let us concentrate on our next phase release on next week so that we can keep uh, same track in a good positive way the next phrase would be on the same pace the meaning would be this phrase is used to express when we have the same understanding or amount of knowledge on a particular situation or a particular context the example would be hey hope that we are all are on the same pages same page about the project specification and if somebody is not in the understanding state then we shall have some uh, more sessions to understanding to make all team members on same page the next phrase would be drop by the meaning would be this phrase is used to express about or a casual a short visit a person or a place or a friend the example would be i dropped by my friend on my way while returning from office the next phrase would be bring to the table meaning would be this phrase is used to express to provide something that will be a benefit the example would be mike was the right person to lead this team so he brings a lot of his team leading experience and uh, skills to the table so the next phrase would be big picture the meaning this phrase is used to express of a broad perspective or view of a problem or issue the example would be my architecture 
team showcase the problem to the client in a bigger picture so that uh, they are able to connect it very easily and able to understand the complete situations, the pros and cons. The next phrase would be get by. The meaning, this phrase is used when we have a situation with a difficulty that is unable to manage to live or accomplish. The example, we have to get by this month with our limited money or budget because um, I lost my job this week. So we have to survive. We need to get by with our limited budget. The next phrase would be fed up with. The meaning this phrase is used to express our annoyance or unhappy about the situation or by someone. The example, I fed up with my current job as I don't like to work in this field, but somehow I'm working to manage my life and my family. In real, I really don't like to work in this area. The, my interests are little um, uh, different, but due to some situations, I had to work this job, so I completely fed up with my current um, uh, job. The next phrase would be wrap up. This is a very commonly, regularly used phrase. The meaning, this phrase is used to tell about a close or finish, like a meeting very generally we use. The example, hey guys, we almost completed our action items. So if you really don't have anything to discuss in this meeting, so I would like to wrap up this meeting. The next phrase, the 11th hour. The meaning would be this phrase used to express when we want to tell at the last possible moment before a deadline. The example, your decision did not need to come at the 11th hour. You could have decided little earlier uh, to avoid any kind of last minute changes. The next phrase would be get rid of. The meaning this phrase is used to express when we want to take right actions to eliminate any unwanted situations. The example, the context we use this phrase, we have been trying out a lot to get rid of bugs from this project, but still we are still encountering issues, uh, looks, uh, we are unable to release this project on time. The next phrase would be back and forth, meaning this phrase is used to express about the continuity of any action to and fro the backward and forward. The example, we communicated back and forth several times uh, before we send a final notification uh, to the clients. The next phrase would be think outside of the box. This phrase is used to say about to think of creativity, unconventional situations in store for thinking very common way. So example would be IT jobs are very creative. So we need to think outside of the box all the times to give a best from our side to compete with others. The next phrase would be short notice the meaning this phrase is used to express about to tell something or communicate to others without much advance notice or warning the example would be uh, thank you very much for uh, joining this meeting uh, it's very little short notice i'm really sorry i was not able to communicate uh, earlier to join you to this meeting. The next phrase would be, the ball is in your court. The meaning, this phrase is used to express about to tell the responsibility for an action or an attention is no easy verse. So the example would be, I have finished my task completely. 
Now the ball is in our court to review and publish the report on the board. The next phrase would be double check. This phrase specially used to check for a second time to ensure uh, that it is accurate or safe. The example would be, do we have meeting this week? Uh, the other guy is replying that uh, I'm sure um, we didn't receive any meeting request yet. So anyway, I'll uh, go and check my calendar. I'll double check again whether uh, we have meeting this week or not. The next phrase would be the bottom line is this phrase is used to express the final result or uh, basic meaning. The example would be we worked very hard on this project day and night and even weekends as well. And we tried a um, lot from our best to give a best from our side. But the bottom line is we missed the deadline. So the last minute we received so many issues. We encountered so many issues like with respect to hardware and software level. So we are unable to deliver a project on time. So we missed out. The next phrase would be running short of time. The meaning this phrase is used when we have very little or short time uh, to finish our next action item. The example, hey guys, I would like to wrap up this meeting soon. Since uh, we are uh, running short of time, let's move to our next, next action item. The next phrase would be second thought. The meaning, this phrase is used to express to change our opinion about something or start to doubt it. The example, do you have any second thoughts about joining this company or you? The next phrase in the same word, meaning this phrase used to express in the same unpleasant situation as um, other people right now having. The example, hey, I lost my job. Um, is it possible or can you lend me some thousand dollars? Other guy is replying like, hey, I'm really sorry, very sorry to hear that. Uh, I'm also in the same boat. The next phrase would be, we'll never fly. This phrase is used to express to tell about um, whenever it won't work out practically. The example, I asked my manager for my on-site travel, uh, but he said that uh, it never fly since our budgets have been gradually decreased. Uh, so the company right now is going for all cross-cutting uh, uh, things. So maybe it looks like uh, it takes some more time for your on-site travel. The next phrase would be, no wonder. This phrase is used to express when something is able to understood the situation very clearly. The example, hey, why is worrying a lot today? So are there any something wrong? And uh, he, he replied like, other guy replied like, hey, he told me that uh, he lost his iPhone today morning. Oh, no wonder. Uh, now I understood that why he is worrying right now. The next phrase would be on top of that. The meaning this phrase is used when we want to tell about uh, in addition to that, on top of that, uh, previous points. The example, today I'm very busy with meetings. On top of that, in addition to that, I have to prepare a presentation um, before attending this meeting. The next phrase, under a lot of pressure, the meaning would be, this phrase is used to express feeling of stress or uh, due to some workloads or any family issues. The example would be, today I have to rush a uh, little early uh, but I am under a lot of pressure due to this um, project deadlines. Next phrase would be fine tune. The meaning, this phrase used to express to make a minor adjustment 
to produce the desired result. Example would be, we are almost all ready for this week release, but um, I'm a little fine, uh, fine tuning some of the sections to make a proper uh, to make a proper fixing all kind of uh, performance related issues on this project. The next phrase would be on the right track. The example, this phrase is used to express uh, doing right things at right time. The example, hey guys, we have a critical release this week. So looks like um, so far so good, but I mean, uh, we are on the right track and uh, looks we we can release the project uh, on time so we are ready to uh, for release uh, this project uh, this week only without any delay from our side the next phrase would be get sidetracked the meaning this phrase is used to express when we get distracted or uh, lost the focus on a current uh, one the example would be I not finished my task. I got a little sidetracked due to my personal uh, matter once I received phone call from my family. The next phrase would be fist my arm. The meaning this phrase is used to express when we want to force someone to do something. The example, I twisted a lot my friend's arm to get him to let me some borrow his bike because I need to go this week movie so I, I twisted my friend uh, for his bike the next phrase would be the flip side meaning uh, this phrase is used to express other side of the situation the example I worked very hard on this project success uh, but on the flip side uh, I didn't get that much uh, recognition or promotion uh, for my contribution. The next phrase would be halfway through. The meaning this phrase is used to express when we want to tell the status of any work like uh, when we are in the 50 percent of the state status on a particular situation or a particular project or particular task. The example would be, uh, we are halfway through the finishing this project. So as for the timelines, we are at good, but we can release the project or we can release the task uh, on time only. The next phrase would be dead end job. The meaning, this phrase is used to express so whenever a job that uh, won't lead anything else or doesn't adding any like values or uh, counting on our life. The example, working as a data entry <coughs> position in IT industry is dead end job. So we won't learn, we, we won't add any values to our um, profile. So the next phrase would be, I can't figure out. This expression is used when we can't understand the situation and why, how to do that, uh, the job with our current knowledge. The example, uh, so far I couldn't um, figure out uh, that uh, where exactly it went wrong in the last release. We encountered or even client raised many issues. Uh, I'm still finding out uh, the root cause of issues. Still, I'm not able to figure out the reason behind the issues. The next phrase would be from the scratch. The meaning this expression is used to say about um, from the beginning. So when we start anything from the beginning, we have to use this phrase so is very much useful. This is um, the example. This is the maintenance project. So there is no need to start the project design and documents from the scratch. The next phrase would be tweaking. This expression is used to tell about a slight adjustment on current situation. The example, my manager have been uh, tweaking a lot 
our project uh, times and timings to release the project on time. The next phrase would be keep posted. This phrase is used to update latest developments uh, to the entire team. The example is so far we didn't receive any feedback from the user. If I get today any communication, any feedback, any comments or remarks from the user, I'll definitely keep post to the entire team immediately. The next phrase would be bring someone up to date. The meaning this phrase is used when we want to update the most recent information. Example, please bring to the team up to date information. Uh, please don't skip any information uh, to the team. So you please update or bring to communicate all the latest information to the entire team. The next phrase would be straight from the horse mouth. The meaning this phrase is used when we want to tell directly from the person or a place when something is uh, began. The example I heard straight from the horse mouth that uh, this project would be stopped due to financial crisis. The next phrase would be green light. The meaning this phrase is used when we want to tell authorization, approval or permission is granted. The example, now our project plan have been begin to the green light. So we can start our project. So we got approval from the client uh, for um, uh, start this project. And then we are happy we can uh, start this project straight away. The next phrase would be, could we go over that again? The meaning this phrase is used when we when like uh, someone to repeat the information. The example, hey, uh, could we go over the project plan again? Uh, I think I have little uh, doubt about uh, some sections. Is that possible or uh, could we go over the project plan, plan again or revisit the project plan? The next phrase would be, when is a good time? The meaning this phrase is used to check others convenient or free time or right time. The example would be, hey, I would like to meet you personally sometime today. So could you please tell me so when is your good time to meet you today? The next phrase would be right away. The meaning this phrase is used to say uh, tell telling immediately or now. The example would be, can you please send me reply uh, right away? So I'm waiting for your reply for sending uh, another communication to the user. The next phrase would be, it is not end of the world. This phrase is used to say that the results like is not very bad. Hey, please don't worry. Uh, there is no mistakes really, but it is not end of the world. The example, uh, we missed the project deadline and uh, please don't worry, it is not end of the world. Uh, we give a convention the where it went wrong so that we can release the project next week or um, we can finish uh, project uh, within the uh, next uh, uh, limited next uh, uh, deadline. The next phrase would be, I'm not following you. The the meaning this phrase used to say when we are not unable to like we are not able to understand uh, what others are explaining to us. The example would be, hey, can you please explain um, a little slow uh, since I'm unable to understand your uh, uh, accent. Uh, I'm unable to following you. Could you please go through a little slow? The next phrase would be from day on day one. The meaning this phrase is used to say about uh, from the beginning. The example would be this project have been move, moving forward very quickly from the day one. The next phrase would be it slipped my mind. This phrase used to when we forget that I supposed to deliver, I supposed to communicate. The example would be 
I supposed to meet my friend today, but um, totally it slipped to my mind. Means that means I forgot that uh, uh, meeting time. The next phrase would be make up my mind. The meaning this phrase is used to express our decisions. Example, hey, um, are we going vacation this summer? Uh, other guy is replying like, um, I not made up my mind. I didn't plan anything yet. Uh, I'll think that and I'll update you sometime uh, this weekend. The next phrase would be sorry to interrupt. The meaning this phrase is used to when we try to disturb or uh, disturb another conversations or any discussion by coaches interaction uh, like interjections or comment to others. The example would be uh, I'm really very sorry to interrupting you and I would like to update the status before I leave for the day. The next phrase would be reinvent, reinvent the wheel. The meaning this phrase used like when we want to tell about uh, create something that already exists. The example, hey, please uh, don't reinvent the wheel. Let's follow the industry best practices um, on this project instead of applying new things. Since we don't have that much time, we have limit like um, very limited timelines. So we use the existing best practices to give the best product and quality product to the clients. The last phrase in this session and uh, don't mention it. The example would be uh, like uh, this meaning would be this phrase used when we want our polite expression used to response when uh, someone thank you to us. The example would be and thank you very much for your kind help. And then other guy reply would be like, um, hey, hey, please uh, don't mention it. Uh, it is my pleasure to help you. So I am done top 50 business English uh, phrases and expressions uh, in this video. So I will cover another top 50 in uh, coming video sessions. And if you like this uh, uh, video and if it is useful this information, uh, please share and uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, so that uh, you would get the latest videos and updates from this channel. And uh, thank you very much for your time on this video.